Today, we are partitioning shapes one more time, but in fourths. Partitioning shapes, again, we got this. Remember that partitioning means to divide or cut. Fourths. Uh oh. But what are fourths? Fourths are four equal parts. Remember, halves were two equal parts. But today we are focusing on fourths, which means four equal parts. Remember that all shapes are a whole, meaning they are not cut. We have a rectangle, a square, an oval, a hexagon, and a rhombus. Each shape can be partitioned into four equal parts. Those are called fourths. In order for the shapes to be called fourths, the parts have to be equal. For example, our first shape is a hexagon. Our hexagon now is a whole. But now that I cut it, it's in fourths. It has four equal parts. Our next shape, the circle, right now is a whole. But as soon as I cut it, now it's in fourths. It has four equal parts. Our square, is now a hole, but once I cut it, it is in fourths. It has four equal parts. And finally, we have a rhombus. The rhombus now is a hole, but once I cut it, it is in fourths. It has four equal parts. In order for the shapes to be called fourths, they have to be cut in four equal parts. snack time again but this time i have more friends with me i have four friends in this one pizza i have miss chavez miss capetillo and miss padilla and myself we all want to share of this pizza in order for us to all have a slice of pizza and be fair we are going to cut it in fourths and we're going to make sure to have four equal parts There we go. Now our pizza is in four equal parts. It is in four. Now it's your turn. Look at the shapes that have been given to you and partition them in fourths. Remember that in order for them to be in fourths, they have to be in four equal parts. Good luck.